Princess Eugenie tied the knot this year with her long-term boyfriend Jack Brooks Pink in October. But will Eugenie and Jack spend Christmas at Sandringham? Princess Eugenie and her new husband Jack Brooks Fank missed the Queen's Christmas lunch at Buckingham Palace on Wednesday. They were said to have been too unwell to attend the festive occasion. However, Eugenie was at the premiere of Sharkwater Extinction in London the previous evening. The Queen and Prince Philip invite other members of the royal family to their country estate in Norfolk every year. Last year, Meghan Markle made her first trip to Sandringham after getting engaged to Prince Harry a couple of months earlier. The royals follow the same schedule every year as they unwind for the festive period. They open their presents on Christmas Eve, they attended a church service on Christmas morning and they tuck into a huge turkey dinner at around 1.15 p.m. before switching on the television to watch the Queen's speech. Will Eugenie spend Christmas at Sandringham with new husband Jack Brooks Bank? Both Princess Eugenie and her sister Princess Beatrice were pictured with other royals at the church service in Sandringham last Christmas. Their mother Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, revealed she watches her daughters on the television on Christmas Day, as she is no longer invited to the royal celebrations. The Duchess said to the Daily Mail, I will watch Ben Hur and really enjoy it then watch the news and see how the girls are doing. I know that Her Majesty adores my children, so I am happy to share them, both in August and at Christmas. I really am like this. I love to share. It's the joy of giving. The interview was a chance for Sarah to reflect on other aspects of her life. She also revealed she is in a good place 22 years after divorcing Prince Andrew. She said, It has taken me 59 years but I'm happy to own this sense of joy I feel now. If I have ever let anyone down, and I am sure I have done so at times, I have always tried to amend and do my best. I believe in forgiveness for myself and for others. It's an important quality.